I'm going to be going to two Premier League games in one day. So this idea came to me when I saw the fixture list for this week and I saw West Ham versus Chelsea at L London Stadium and Arsenal versus Brentford in the Emirates. So then I went on Google Maps to see the distance between West Ham Stadium and Arsenal Stadium. And when I saw that it was only a roughly around 20 to 30 minutes, I knew it was possible. So that's when the idea started clicking in my head that this could be doable. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but let's go. I'm going to be watching West Ham versus Chelsea right now. And after that, I'm going to be going to watch Arsenal versus Brentford. Let's get into the video. I can't lie to you, I am very late. The time is now 11.55 and I don't have long to make it to kick off. So I'm going to speed it there. I'll catch you guys at the stadium. Quick disclaimer, West Ham have the worst security trying to line up to get inside the stadium. So a long wait. I finally made it inside. <laughs> to you, I had really good seats for the West Ham game. I could see the away crowd. So Chelsea have just scored an offside goal, but randomly there's some pigeons on the pitch. I was so, so confused. I don't know what's going on. Offside, offside, still no, no. So Chelsea, after having two disallowed goals, have finally made it 1-0, and the away crowd was going crazy. It was a good goal by Felix, assisted by Enzo. So West Ham blew the 1-0. Uh... Former Chelsea player Emerson scored the goal, assisted by Bowen. It was a good goal, I'm not going to lie. This is what happens when you don't take your chances and you don't finish them off. See, Chelsea let um, West Ham get back into the game and this is what happened. 1-1. So that was the end of the first half and here's my half-time thoughts on the game so far. It's been a fun game to watch. But West Ham needs to step up. I don't like Chelsea. I hate Chelsea, but I need them to win. We'll see. We'll see if it works out. So the score right now is 1-1. I'm gonna be honest. Last time I've been playing bad. They're lucky to be 1-1, I'll be honest. Chelsea had two goals disallowed. So we're gonna see. Felix, I don't like it. Modric is sucks. But yeah, Chelsea uh, West Ham is a stepping out man. They need to step out now. So the real question is, am I gonna make it to North London? It's not really not what? One if. I need to make it there by three. First half, Chelsea had two disallowed goals and the scores is 1-1. It was a good first half, I'm not going to lie to you. So we're 20 minutes into the second half and not much has happened. But West Ham has been pressing them. It's been a bit lackluster, I'm not going to lie to you. Hey yo, every corner Felix took, he was getting abused from the West Ham fans. So this is the second corner he took. Bro, West Ham fans, I hate Felix. It's because he scored the goal to make a 1-0 at the beginning of the game. Been a bad, bad first, second half, bad second half for everyone. Waste of money, would you? Fifth minute, I had to leave to make my way to the Arsenal game. West Ham had a goal disallowed, and Chelsea should have had a penalty. Right, cool. The time honest. is now what? Two ten. I'm on my way to the Arsenal game. So I'm in North London now. I'm on my way to the Arsenal game. I might be a bit late, but let's go. The game ended 1 1. I heard West Ham got a goal disallowed, but I'm on my way to the game now. I'm fucking tired. Today I'm just in time to kick off. We don't win, we're done. So here is me inside the stadium. Uh, my overall thoughts on the first half was that it was a very bad first half from Arsenal. We've started again poorly, like we did against Everton. Play like this against City, we might be done. Bad, bad first half. <laughs> I'm hoping the second half is better than the first because the first was terrible. I can't even tell you what I remember noticeable from that first half. But we've got to step it up here if we want to be league leaders and if we want to win the league. The City are catching us. I expected better in the second half, I can't lie. My first half was poor, very bad. I'm happy Arteta's taken off Martinelli because he has not been good since the restart. <laughs> Trossard came on and made a big difference. He scored the first goal for Arsenal. Martinelli, you might have to hold the bench for a while because the performances so far have not been good. But I'm happy with Trossard. Come 
So Ivan Tony has just scored and the goal should have not stood. After a long VAR check, they still got the wrong decision. They were offside. No, no, no. We're actually going to lose this game. We're going to lose. Bro, we play shit, man. This moment here, there was just a lot of time wasted by Brentford. Well, we've drawn this game. Just drew to Brentford. What a bad, bad fucking game. On to Wednesday. Anyhow we lose Wednesday, we're done. It's over, dream's dead. If we lose to City on Wednesday. But if Villa do us a favour tomorrow, <laughs> we're back. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. I'm out, man. What a bad day, man. You know what, yeah? If Villa do us a favour, we're back to normal again. But five points dropped in the last two games is not fucking good if you want to win the league, I'll be real. So it's been bad results today. But Arsenal, if we don't win against City, we are fucked. I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it again, we're fucked if we don't be City. But yeah, that was a mission. I hope you guys enjoyed. Because I went to two games in the space of what three hours. Fucking never doing that shit again. That was a mission. I mean, you know, that might be again. I'll be real. If the results were better, it would have been fun. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit, man. I'm done going to bed. So I already thought things weren't going my way that day when I watched two back-to-back 1-0 -back draws. So when I looked at my FPL today, life is getting ultimately worse. Shaw's getting 6 points, Tony got 9 points and my FPL is in the mud. Newcastle game afterwards, they ended up drawing 1-1 which is bad for me because I have two Newcastle defenders. Kepa conceded, Saka was my captain when Haaland's left to have a double game week so he has to play later. So overall, it's not going well for me if you're thinking about it. Mitoma, um, yeah he didn't score. Ben White obviously they conceded a goal which they shouldn't have and the thing that pisses me off the most yeah, the PGMOL came out and said the goal Brentford scored should have not stood so this right here has pissed me off because the Brentford goal yesterday should have not stood Howard Webb has contacted both Arsenal and Brighton to acknowledge the VAR error explain to me Lee Mason this is the second time this guy has done it to us the first time was the older guard foul on Ericsson which wasn't a foul which led to us not getting the Martinelli goal against United which obviously would have changed the game at United Stadium. But now, they've come out and said Lee Mason forgot to draw the lines on the offside goal that Tony scored. Like, explain to me, in the first thing you do when you're checking for an offside goal, is you draw the lines. Like, is it is it that hard? Because they just costed us three points. Because that they scored in, what, like the 80th minute or something. Bro, like, is it this hard in order to draw lines? Or in order to get your job correctly? VAR is there to help referees. Instead, they're taking points away from us due to mistakes and they claim it under human error. Bro, it's bullshit. Yeah, but there's a little rant for you. My FPL ain't going well and um, yeah, if Haaland scores today, I'm, I might be done because I didn't captain him. Bro, life's not going well at the moment, man. So we moved to Wednesday. But um, yeah, Lee Mason, I don't ever want to see you referee any Arsenal games ever again because no guard was offside. Bro, overall bad day. Chelsea should have, I'll be honest, Chelsea should have had a penalty as well. It was a handball by Suchek. Bro, who else got sent? Someone else got sent off. I think someone from Wolves got sent off. Wasn't they sending off for some stupid reason, but yeah, bad day for referees.